Janko, under my rule, would be a man that could really change the world. But unfortunately, we have this. Do not blame Janko, blame Big Bike. Look at this. Enjoy. Uh, I'm sitting over here and I'm trying to think. You know, the one thing that, the two things that Mike likes are girls and food. Now, Janko looks like that little scuba diver that you might have had in your fish tank in the 90s. You know, that's kind of hovering over that chest. Then it becomes all algae covered and you go, you know what? Fish aren't a good pet. Janko is so tiny and such a little scuba diver. He's always wearing a tight black outfit <laughs> sucked to his skin. Really, he can like withstand the waves of a Norwegian surf. I mean, really, nothing. <laughs> this is uh, got to be weatherproof, right? And made out of rubber. All right, let's see what happens here. Thank you. Boom. Same time. Logan already took care of the girl part. Holy <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> now it's my turn to take care of the food part. He okay, so he's saying Big Mike. Wait, we should back this up because he says something about Big Mike here that's truly disturbing that I don't think Lana, our new good friend, Lana Rhodes, who... Close friend. Me, you, Alana, and Olivia should go to dinner and discuss things. Oh, my God! Mike, it's your day. All right, out. Get the fuck out of here, you All right, let's see what we got here. Coming up today, we've got the Influencer Roundtable. I think first I'm going to go to George Janko. I was just going to say that's what we should do next. You guys ready for George Janko? The most irresistible, perfect guy. You know, pull up a photo of George Janko uh, and his, his music video. Of course. I just want to know. When I first met George Janko, I was sure this was my number one enemy on the planet. Boy, were we wrong. I couldn't have been more wrong, and I really want to share that message of being wrong with people, because I thought I had George Janko all figured out. Turns out everything I thought about George Janko was completely wrong. Um, sure, he is short. Sure, he is stumpy. Sure, he is out of it. Sure, he wears concealer. Uh, let's play you some George Janko to get you in the mood. Wait till you see what he's done now. And this is incredible. Here's his music video. He used to make these really cheesy music videos until Logan Paul got jealous and told him to stop. George Janko is Logan Paul's best friend. He's also the newest co-host on Impulsive. He's this guy. Here is this little girl. I forget her name. She is 4'11". I usually height joke. Everything out of my mouth based with height is a joke. She's 4'11". He cast her in this music video because he is very, very small. So he's like, I'll pick the 4'11 girl. That way I'll look massive. I'll look like Dashboard Confessional here. And George Shanko has been a fraud his whole life until today. And we're going to show you what's been going on with him, Joe Coy, uh, George Janko's newest endeavor, which is stand-up comedy. We've got more from him on the road and his act and Joe Coy's devious involvement here. Uh, but George Janko was a regular guy from Arizona. He is a Christian Armenian. He's very strange. Uh, he let us know that all of high school, he was a joke. He was picked on, speed, peed on, beat up like Eminem. You know, Eminem has a song where he talks about he was peed on in high school. That might be too far. I didn't know you were peed on. You know, I heard a song where he's like, uh, imagine if you uh, peed on, beat up, speed up, uh, peed on. What is that song? Eminem says he was peed on. We might have to revisit that. Back in the day, that's just kind of, if you were peed on, I don't know if I like you. What is that song where Eminem goes, imagine if you were beat up, peed on, peed on, spit on, beat up every feet up. What is that song? Well, George Janko was hated by everyone. And throughout the months I've been listening to George Janko, you got stuff where he's going, in high school, everyone hated me, man. They wanted me dead. If everyone hated you in high school, you had a problem. You were what's called annoying. Okay. And uh, George Janko met Logan Paul at the gym and somehow convinced Logan Paul, who was famous at the time, to become his best friend. And then George Janko rode this train and became famous himself. 
Who <laughs> Look knew? Look at the top comments of this video, by the way. I've never looked at them before. Wait, we got to play this. Did you know Eminem said he was peed on? Listen to this. For high school kids. Cool. It was a metaphor. Okay, so you didn't get peed on. You should never say you got peed on. <laughs> Check out the top comments on this video, or at least the top comments for me. Okay, let's see. Uh, do we have it here? I give him a year. That's the top comment? I give him a year. Don't listen to the other commenters. This music is great. Red Bar loves George Janko. Top comment? <laughs> On his music video of 474,000 views. This has unfortunately been stuck in my head since DJ, DJ Mike Michael Gouffet <laughs> played this at my son's bar. I am part of culture. Finally. <laughs> Look at this. All the top comments are us. Uh, let's hear the song. George Janko, everybody. And I'll tell you why he's here today. It's because he's awesome. How cool. Okay, so on paper, he needs to die, right? Like, <laughs> everything about him is we must destroy him. But it's more complicated than that, unfortunately. And we've got some of those complications coming up today. Let's just hear it until the chorus, if you don't mind. I love I, that I chorus. Really, I really love this. Hey! Chula's fucking freak. Right now. Our dog looks like a fucking freak. His vest is crooked. Nice. You're in the corner like a fucking retard. You're gay. <laughs> You've seen me naked. All right, let's hear this. Give me your Oh my god, another man. There were two men in the bedroom. Oh, I need you guys to learn One Whole Day by Dixie D'Amelio. Yeah, that, uh, I Not love it. Right Not right now, Not right now. It's important. Sure. Okay, so, George Jenko, what has he done this time? There's two things, well, right? Well, this is more about Joe Coy, to be honest. Oh, uh, well, shouldn't we start with Mike? Jenko oh, makes yes, Mike a okay, burger. let's do that. So, Big Mike and Jenko are uh, co-hosts now. I believe they are not friends. Jenko met um, Jenko met Logan Paul at the gym, and Logan Paul stupidly, bro, you're like amazing. Would you like to be my best friend? And Jenko's like, this can't be real, but yes, I mean that would be amazing. Bro, you're in. Everything that is mine is yours, unless you come close to my popularity. In which case, I will resent you. Start getting creepy, <laughs> boxer. Midget assistant, clear <laughs> deal. So that's kind of what happened here. Logan Paul, by the way, is a awful human being. Really, like, don't let him fool you. He really is. I've studied him. And uh, Big Mike is even worse. Logan Paul and Big Mike have made so much money in the last two years, and they go to these influencer retreats. They do these private meetings with Gary Vee. And all these people, and they have convinced themselves. Just like, here, here's how you could understand it. You know how, like, Zuckerberg and Big Tech and Silicon Valley and uh, what's that city uh, in California that they all hate uh, by the, by the ocean? Frisco. San Francisco. You know how you all understand that they think that they're gods now? So here's what happens. If you make a ton of money like a ridiculous amount of money and you have more money than anyone in the world, it's very easy to find yourself to be better than everybody with less money than you. Logan Paul and Big Mike are no different than Zuckerberg 
and Jack Dorsey. <laughs> They've made so much money that criticism now does not affect them. They're right, and their new attitude is, oh, you sweet child, shame on you. You'll learn or you won't. We don't care. And they're off on their own, and they're so off on their own, and really influencers have been so off on their own now in their own world, they think that they're the ones making the world turn. They've really confused this money-making situation into thinking they're the ones who are making America work. America runs on Hey Big Mike. So on the night shift. So George Janko makes a burger for Big Mike's birthday, but it's an ad. Now, this is confusing. George <laughs> Janko got a toaster oven air fryer from a company. Oh, my God. Our dog's sleeping, sitting up. What He's a fucking... So cute. You're sleeping, sitting up. He's so our dog's cute. getting so old now that it just is like hanging out like this, sitting up, and then it goes... <laughs> You're sleeping, sitting up. You're like a grandfather. <laughs> Uh, so George Janko has this ad, and this is what's so brilliant about doing ads. I love when ads go wrong, and that's what we're going to see here today. George Janko got like this big, I had one of these things, a Kasari air fryer toaster oven. You can do it all. It's uh, 38 kitchen devices in one. I can live without the Kasari. Yes, we all can. And basically what it is, is it's a toaster oven with those metal pipes that heat up across the top and the bottom, and then it's a fan. That's it. So companies figured out, oh, my God, all we need is a heating element and a fan, and you could put food in there, and it cooks in this cheap metal tin box that leaks heat. It seems dangerous almost, these cheap metal, thin metal boxes that you could literally push in the sides and indent the metal. That's how cheap these toaster oven contraptions are. They're about 129 bucks. And one of these no-name toaster oven, air fryer, all-in-one companies contacted George Janko a couple weeks ago and said, we would love to give you a complimentary air fryer. In turn, you show your audience how amazing it makes food. Now, Janko can't cook. And he attempts to make Mike, Big Mike, a burger for his birthday Two birds with one stone. Big Mike loves burgers. He reviews moderate speed fast food chains in a Dave Portney style. Not that he loves burgers, but he loves Dave Portney. And he wishes he could do pizza reviews, but Dave taught that covered. I'll do burger reviews in the exact same cadence and style. Now, if Dave knew that, he'd be disgusted and he'd disown Mike. So please, can we get my goal this year is to get Dave Portney to understand that Hey Big Mike has been lifting from him for the last two years and that and Dave would be sick of I'll take any kind of rift between Dave and Mike. Please, if we can do this to get Dave, and we may not, might need to put together like a super edit of all the things that Big Mike has done to emulate Dave, it would make Dave sick. He'd know right away. Now, this one is subtle. It's not just about the burger thing, but Mike also thinks that he can big Mike. adopt. Yes, Big Mike can adopt Dave's personality and it'll just work with him. I got Mike's all around me. I got Big Mike over there. And in New York, in California, I got Big Mike. And in New York City, I got Mini Mike. You might have seen him on Joe Cumia, Cumia's book signing. Remember Mini Mike? Regular Mike, Big Mike. Trust me, you want to be regular, Mike. All right, here it is. Janko makes Big Mike a burger for his birthday. We're going to learn Janko's secrets. And more importantly, you're going to see Big Mike's new Zuckerberg, Jack Dorsey, elitist, sneaky, behind-the-scenes Frisco attitude that will make you want to storm the impulsion. Look at this. Here it is. And, <laughs> oh, and where do we go? Five minutes in. You're going to see the beautiful, naive, loving Janko. Now, remember, Janko, every one of his sins can be chalked up to confusion, naivete, and accident. Janko, under my rule, could be somebody that really could help society.
But with Logan Paul and Big Mike being his influences, because they have money, and a lot of people go, whoever has the most money is the most right. Janko, under my rule, would be a man that could really change the world. But unfortunately, we have this. Do not blame Janko, blame Big Mike. Look at this. Enjoy. Uh, I'm sitting over here and I'm trying to think. You know, the one thing that, the two things that Mike likes are girls and food. food. Now, Janko looks like that little scuba diver that you might have had in your fish tank in the 90s. You know, that's kind of hovering over that chest. Then it becomes all algae covered and you go, you know what? Fish aren't a good pet. Janko is so tiny and such a little scuba diver. He's always wearing a tight black outfit <laughs> sucked to his skin. Really... He could like withstand the waves of a Norwegian surf. I mean, really, nothing. <laughs> this is uh, got to be weatherproof, right? And made out of rubber. All right, let's see what happens here. Thank you. Boom. Same time. Logan already took care of the girl part. Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now it's my turn to take care of the food part. He okay, so he's saying Big Mike. Wait, we should back this up because he says something about Big Mike here that's truly disturbing that I don't think Lana... Our new good friend, Lana Rhodes, who... Close friend. Me, you, Alana, and Olivia should go to dinner and discuss things. Uh, that would be my dream. Lana Rhodes, what do you think? And you must remove your ass implants and your breast implants in order to talk to me. Olivia is perfect the way she is. We love you, Olivia. <laughs> the middle girl, we want you dead. <laughs> Listen to this. Listen to this. You're going to hear about Big Mike, and this is bad. Big Mike, who has been with porn star Lana Rhodes for a year. Listen to this. <laughs> yeah, Mike, don't give me a gift. <laughs> uh, I'm sitting over here, and I'm trying to think. You know, the one thing that, the two things that Mike likes are girls and food. The two things Big Mike likes are girls and food. Does Lana know that his biggest like outside of food is Girl. Girls. He's been with Lana for a year. They bought a house together that Mike refuses to pay the rent on because he's not ready to stop gaming. His two big loves are girls and food. He's with someone. <laughs> Jules, if I said, if people refer to me as, oh, you know, Mike, he loves, he loves girls. girls. Wouldn't you feel? I would divorce you immediately. So Janko is so naive and stupid that he doesn't realize he just basically outed Mike for his cheating here. His two big loves are girls and food. Sounds pretty conceited with himself or, uh, you know, spoiled rotten. Yeah. Oh, he loves girls and food as a guy? Wow, how unique. Does he like money as well? Could be. Could that be three? The one thing that, the two things that Mike likes are girls and food. food. Thank you. Boom. Same time. Logan already took care of the girl part. Oh. <laughs> Lana Rhodes before she was now big. it's my turn to take care of the food part he wow. loves burgers he thinks Shake Shack is the greatest he loves burgers beer video get whatever you guys when he said burgers that was exactly how Mike Fenoya said burgers which got me famous he loves burgers people remember that right Mike Fenoya listen to him say burgers again the girl part Oh. <laughs> now it's my turn to take care of the food part. He loves burgers. He thinks Shake Shack is the greatest ever, but he hasn't seen or tasted my burger. My <laughs> burger, like yeah. I love when people attempt to make burgers. People have seen my burger video, delicious. It's a classic. You know, not one person said that they were bad. Uh, other people cannot make burgers. This is crazy. George Janko's never cooked a day in his life. He's going to make the perfect burger. Wait till you see this monstrosity. You know who else can't make a burger to save his life? And you wouldn't believe it. Gordon Ramsay. Right. Uh, cannot make a burger. He makes a tall burger. It's about this big. The patty's about this thick. He's You've losing got it. A slice of Gordon Ramsay cannot cook. I can outcook Ramsay. Ramsay stuff. Look up the video of him making a grilled cheese in a fireplace. It's, it's insane. He just burns a full gr his grilled cheese is this and thick. And the cheese is not melted. It's like hard no. blocks of cold. Gordon cheese. Ramsay cannot cook anymore. Literally, I've been to, like there are like um, I, the Waffle House makes better food than Ramsay now. Isn't that a shame? So I love watching people make a burger. Uh, wait till you see Janko's burger. It will physically ill you 
Wait till you see the cheese. <laughs> Look at this. Like, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> <It's> <laughs> All burger. right, let's make him the best freaking burger he's ever had in his life. Yes, is the burger tour. Still in the frame. Burger tour. Best tour. burger <laughs> he's ever had in his life. <laughs> so we got ground beef patties, the best from Trader Joe's. So he went to Trader Joe's. It's so funny how all the LA influencers think Trader Joe's is the upper echelon, is that right, of food. Trader Joe's is your town's shittiest grocery store with a little bit better graphic design. I mean, it really is poor quality food. Trader Joe's is identical to Target's grocery store. As far as the meat goes, you ever go to Trader Joe's and you go, man, this is the most pink filet mignon I've ever seen. It's in the package. They dye their steaks. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Target and Trader Joe's have the same meat provider. It is a dyed fake steak. It is not real. That's why you get a filet mignon. It's like this big. It's like the size of a Nerf ball. And it's like 25 bucks. It, this is why. That's why it's bright pink. It looks like salmon. It's that pink. Trader Joe's is a farce. It is for girls. It is for people who have offices that want pretzels. And they go to Trader Joe's thinking that it's all healthy. It sucks. I'll get a little cracker. I, you love Trader Joe's. <laughs> Influencers love Trader Joe's. And they're all millionaires. Millionaires going to Trader Joe's. Think about that. And it's 80% lean, because, you know, he's got it up there. <laughs> you got to turn this on first. Well, first you got to plug it in. So here it is. Look at this. He doesn't know that 80% lean is the fattier of the beefs. Because yeah, he, he thinks that's lean. Oh, 80% lean. 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 Wow. There. No, no, no. That's uh, pretty fatty. <laughs> and that's good. That's what you want. So good So here he is plugging in, and this is those cheap toaster. Now, we had one of these. You can... Cook things good. We've made good chickens in there. It's great reheating. It's crap, though. You know how dirty and messy these things are? We threw one away before our move. I bought one about two months before our move. I bought a device like this because it claimed you could do a rotisserie chicken in it. The rotisserie pole, I mean, I could bend it with my finger. The chicken would be hanging down. It would get stuck. It couldn't turn a three-pound chicken. It's a farce. <laughs> Okay? You could heat something better with your breath than you could with a device like this. So here he is, and he's doing the ad for this toaster oven. And, and if those I were are the. actually regular size subway tiles. Janko's just that small. Janko is so small. These are regular size subway tiles. Look how huge they look compared to his tiny little body. So he <laughs> might be two foot three. I hate his backsplash. Has anyone else noticed Janko's backsplash? It could be the worst backsplash. Out of anyone who's ever filmed the video. I fucking hate it. It is the worst backsplash I have ever seen. And for those of you listening to the audio version, it's giant cinder blocks. Like, his backsplash is a replica of a jail cell wall. Okay? So that the prisoners... <laughs> and you know why they use these? Not only are they fire retardant, but they're cheap, okay? So when you go to a jail or a public school, the only difference between public school and jail is beige, thick, latex paint, okay? In a jail cell, you'll see thick cinder block, raw, cement, gray. In a school, you'll see that thick cinder block, and it's soft almost because they've painted it with so many layers of beige paint. You could almost push into it. It's rubberized. Cinder block is either for prisons or schools. Consider that. And also Janko's backsplash. I hate Cinder Black. I won't even allow Cinder Black to outline a fire pit. I'd rather set the state of California on fire than have a fire with Cinder Blocks around it to stop the spread. I hate Cinder. But Janko has it as his backsplash, destroying any dreams of glamour or fame. And he's about to make Big Mike a burger in a toaster oven. What could go wrong? Turned it, but I'm fine. My whole team's falling apart. No, no, no. Oh, I know what you mean. Nope. Now, but this <laughs> is a cheat. This is a cheat here. So the toaster oven company. Oh, watch falling this. Apart. The toaster oven company. They've caught on and they go, oh, my God. If we put a cast iron grill pan 
on the bottom of this thing and tell them to preheat for 20 minutes, they can make a burger in it and get grill lines. Well, all that's happening is you're heating a cast iron pan. So you could heat this on the stove and make your burger on the stove. It's no (laughs) different. They think it's the device doing it. All you're doing is heating up cast iron. This is a cheat. This is a cheat. Let's watch them make the damn burger. No, no, no. Oh, I know what you mean. Nope. What could go wrong? <laughs> it's too you can't thick. even put the fan in. It's too oh, thick. It, it came with the company. I've heard Part that. of the company. <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe your neck. Use this for the burger. Oh, this is an instruction. Like yeah. I didn't work at Benihana's. Hey, we need those. What do we do? No, we don't, bro. You know how to make a burger? Put it in. Flip it. Mm. Not ready yet. But ready how much yet. time do you do it in? Mm. Flip it. Do you know that? <laughs> I don't like those sound effects coming out of you. <laughs> Yours is way too f***ing sexual, right? He's like, how do you... I didn't do that. <laughs> Yours was way worse. Okay, the He's the next Sebastian, <laughs> folks. He is the next Sebastian, and when uh, when Janko dies, I want to pour melted aluminum into his house and then let it cool and see all the trails. They do th- this with ants and uh, oh. roaches. You don't watch Facebook, do you? Here you go. <laughs> oh, he's on the floor. Sorry get about up. this, guys. We'll be back after these commercial breaks. Are you a loser who can't get laid? He to really sleep? is built like one of the gummy bears, you know? <laughs> from the candy, from the yes, bag. Same head the, size. If you had a black gummy bear that tasted like kebab, a Middle Eastern, you know, like hummus, a hummus flavored gummy bear. With char. That's what he is. Of his life. Well, February 5th, we're dropping the best hoodie to ever exist. Miami winter. Get it. Look at this merch. So you get some. Don't you just, Oof. like, get a thrill stabbing something? You ever, like, have dreams where you're just Are like... you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Do we just kind of throw it in there? Yep. All right. Okay, so okay. here it goes. She's making the burger. Look at that sizzle. Right. That's what you what want to hear. Right now. One out of ten. One out of ten. Zero. One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh! I will say, I'm going to spoil this. His burger is better than Ramsey's burger at the end of this whole thing. Actually. No, it's not. Ramsey's burger is better. Yeah. But I'd like to take off that portobello. I hate portobello mushrooms. I thought that a portobello mushroom was supposed to be like a replacement for the for patty me. if you're vegan. But they're putting it on top of a burger now. Too a tired. giant burnt mushroom top <laughs> on a burger. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Oh, that was gross. You're gonna bring it up. Oh, mother! I told you. You jinxed me. I had precision, bro. You should poke the patty. See how it is. On why the is that? Why is everybody the chef here? Why is everybody? Shut up, Shauna. We just need regularly two chefs. Chef me and two chefs. Chef. house is decorated like a woman's first apartment. Like everything is white. Everything is very soft. It looks like Z Gallery or something Khloe Kardashian would put together in 2006 for her living room. Very, very feminine girl's apartment. Yeah, I feel like it's good. That's what I, <laughs> that was like two Watch seconds. this. Oh, yeah, this is kind of overcooked now. Told you. Oh, Here's the, the burger. Yeah, because we're going to double cheese it. Okay, bro. so I they got... Put it over the meat. Look at that. This burger looks great. Are you being sarcastic? Yes. I... Ooh, look at that. Did you see that? Hold on, let's back up a little bit. We got a nice close-up of that burger there. Oh, dear. <laughs> look at that bun. That bun is a cinnamon roll. He's got two slices of the thickest, coldest cheddar cheese. I mean, really, that, you know, is almost a block of cheddar cheese cut in half. And then the burger is sitting on top with the cheese. In the, I mean, really, the height already is screaming mad. It's like the Tower of Terror there. Let's see what happens next. See what I mean about his decor? This is like from Z Gallery. Look at that bowl. <laughs> a mirrored, girly bowl. So cheap. I hate that kind of decor. What is this? Look at this. This is you the relish in there? The in and out spread sauce is ketchup and mayo, which is Thousand Island. Okay, okay. And then there's that in here. Come on, let's get going. <laughs> <Jesus> <laughs> All right, today we're going to teach you guys that. No, not my channel. Let's let's hurry this up. That is the worst spreading job I've ever seen. Come on, get come on. Look at the edges. Look at that. Oh, oh wow. Good. We got it. Double team. All right, so now we're pulling up to Mike's, and I really hope he enjoys his burger. That so he's going to Mike's. Now, it's part commercial, part Mike's birthday. Again, two birds with one stone. Also, did you know that Mike's birthday is only a day before our Mike's birthday? Why don't you tell him whose birthdays are around mine? 
I think Howard Stern. Howard is Stearns on is on January twelfth. January twelfth. Big Mike's is on January thirteenth. Yes. Mike Davids is on January fourteenth. Yes. And Jake Pauls is on January seventeenth. So the biggest douchebags <laughs> in American history: me, Big Mike, Howard Stern, and Jake Paul. All celebrate our birthday in the same week. Horoscopes are real. We should all have a party together. I know. Imagine that. That would rule. I can't come because of COVID. <laughs> Don't put me on the spot. Oh, come on. They love you, Robin. <laughs> Robin. Robin. I'll Robin. surprise you next okay. time. <laughs> Do you know Howard Stern has not left his apartment since COVID? Because he's confused thinking that. If also, you leave, you, you just hear die. what this guy eats as food. We were Howard listening to this episode yeah, listen the other to this. day. He's like, for breakfast, I eat like a cup of oatmeal. Yes. No, with- not that. I eat um, for breakfast. What I'll have is uh, he eats like the mom from Requiem for a Dream. Yes. Where it's like, I'll have uh, a quarter grapefruit, <laughs> uh, a half a cup of coffee, and some cottage cheese. Even then, I feel like I've gone too far. For lunch, my wife, uh, for my birthday, we're having hamburger and fries. That, no, this, he said hamburger and French fries. Yes. And he goes, for really- my birthday, I'm going crazy, and I'm afraid to put on the weight. We're having hamburger and French fries. And I'm going, Howard, you do realize you're like <laughs> the skinniest man that we have. <laughs> he thinks he needs to lose weight. We're not kidding. This is crazy. And then there was another episode where he was worrying about his hair not having enough volume. Yes. <laughs> Howard guy. Stern was like, I'm worried that my hair doesn't have enough volume. <laughs> it's the biggest poof <laughs> out of any guy. You look like the chick from Cheers. <laughs> All right. Let's his see this. We love Howard up. and Robin. They're a great duo. All right. Let's hear this. It's not Peter Griffin sounding. All right. Let's hear this. And not who who. That's Kumia. You know, a lot of you guys got to forget, Kumia is the one who taught you all these things. You need to forget anything Kumia ever taught you. You all hate Howard based on what Kumia told you, but we've all learned that Kumia is actually the bad one. But your hatred for Howard because of what Kumia told you still stands. Kumia is actually wrong. We've listened to a month now of Howard. He's a nice guy. He's a good guy. Anthony Cumia is a bad person. So you're like, oh, I grew up with Opie and Anthony. Howard sucks. But remember, we exposed Cumia for being a biting monster. Everything Cumia ever told you needs to be reevaluated, turned over, appealed. Cumia was the problem. When you see who who, that's from Cumia. And we thought Kumia was in the right. Howard was actually in the right. He knew Opie and Anthony were terrible people. And he couldn't believe their popularity. And that's all he was doing. And Kumia made us believe that Howard was being a jealous. No, no, no. Howard was looking out for us. We should have listened to Howard. Jew versus Kumia. (laughs) Think about it. The Jews, you're going to want to be Jewish one day. Trust me. It's going to turn around. I mean, there's going to be a day where people are pretending they're Jewish because it's so cool. All right, let's see what happens here. Big Mike getting a burger. Let's watch. How come I had to sit in the back seat this time? Uh, Because you don't have a red hat, you don't have a camera, and you're giving me a lot of attitude. Next time it's the trunk. Guy interrupts me in a vlog take. Are you kidding me? Who is this guy now? Hey! Stop! Hey! <laughs> Here comes Big no. Now, see? what's so cool about this video that you're going to love, I love watching influencers on other people's channels because they, when they're on their own channels, hey, everyone, it is me, Big Mike. Listen, I just want love and happiness and hope for the world. And, like, everything I do is legit and positive. And so quickly... If it's someone else's camera that's filming them, they act like their true selves, and you see a glimpse of the real them, and it's usually so nasty and dark. And that's what you're going to kind of see today. It's tough, but you're going to see Big Mike, big time, Tiny George. Yep. Very sad. Watch this. 
But that's a microwave burger, George. This ain't a microwave burger. It looks like it's a microwave. No, I, there's I Big Mike. What are you doing? Big Mike. Stop doing it. that. Well, I'm going to finish this. No. Eat that. So George Janko goes, I'm coming by. I'm going to give you, I made you a burger for your birthday. I know you love burgers. and I'm going to make you a burger. He gets there and Big Mike is finishing up a bowl of ice cream. And he goes, what are you doing? He goes, oh, I just ate this delicious meal from Chef John. She goes, but I, I told you an hour ago, I'm bringing you this burger I made it. Oh, I can't eat that burger. I'm stuffed. That's fucking mean. He knew he had a heads up. It's his birthday. George is making the burger. Here's that power Jew who made this all possible. This is the guy who tells Logan, you should box. You're really. And it's all about the, the dollar. That's that power. Jew. And by the way. <laughs> Don't worry. You look more like Janko. Thank God. I just want to look like somebody in the in the power sphere. All right, here we go. No, the cheese isn't even melted. You put burger. a Maverick logo on that, and you stop eating. Watch so this. You guys know we put Reed in time out. Watch how I'm eating. Right right okay, okay, I know right off the bat you're going to say to me, hey, Mike, I was just waiting two seconds ago. Why'd you put a hat on one? It's freezing out here. More importantly, cap. number one, cap. Why'd you put on a cap? <laughs> number two. Oh, now, notice Mike's attitude. And you're going, wow, he's being such a dick. I'm going to explain to you who he's emulating here today. You're going to be sick. But also, number one, I need a hair transplant. I'm going bald. It's not that bad. No, You're shut not... up, George. Okay. It's horrible. No, I'm just kidding. It's really not. It's a, it, look at you, dude. It's really not that bad. I don't know why people keep doing this for my vlog. Okay, listen, that's your channel thing, okay? You cook on your channel, and you talk about your hairline and yours. <laughs> okay, so here's so the burger. Much. I'm so not hungry. Oh, wait, no. Listen to Big Mike. Oh, I'm so nauseous. I'm so not hungry. Oh, that's nice. He told you he's coming over with the burger, and you decided to gorge. Watch this. My your hairline and yours. <laughs> oh, man, I just ate so much. I'm so not hungry. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I can eat. I'm sure it's great. Dude, I literally text you. Hey, man. I know. I how did you? Wow. How did you forget? Anyways, listen. Mm. The sauce is made by Bell. Okay. The burger and everything else is made by Can Bell. I stop you for one second? Yeah, Do you ahead. know how much... A burger joint or brand would pay for this to happen on their vlog. Like, is this how you want to present it to me? In a what the fuck? Do you know Excuse how me? much a burger chain would pay for this to happen on my vlog? You're going, first of all, you've reviewed Shake Shack and and out. Like three places. And, okay, there's two problems with this. First of all, no burger chain even knows you exist. You're one of their billions of customers <laughs> secondly if you're doing burger reviews you're claiming that the burger companies are paying you to do the reviews that is payola <laughs> and that is illegal now i get it you're copying dave portney's famous pizza reviews i give it a 7.6 that's the review big mike has not only taken on the attitude of dave portney where he thinks he could talk you know, when Dave Portney talks down to somebody, we get it. It, it works with Dave Portney's persona, character. He has an East Coast charm. He has an East Coast charm. It you works. Understand it. You don't ever go, ooh, Dave, no, ooh, too far. Big Mike. He pulls it off. Big Mike is emulating Dave Portney, but it's just coming off as Mike being an arrogant jerk. But in <laughs> Mike's mind, he's Portney, okay? He's doing burger reviews exactly like Dave Port Dave Portney doesn't get paid to do reviews. He doesn't even take the free. He doesn't want it for free. He pays for the pizza. He's very serious. Big Mike to big time Janko not only tells a lie, but if that lie were true, it it, it destroys his whole legitimacy. <laughs> Listen to this. What an asshole. Is this ever gonna play? How? How did you forget? Watch this. Anyways, listen. Mm. The sauce is made by Bell. Okay. The burger and everything else is made by Can Bell. Can I stop you for one second? Yeah, Do you ahead. know how much a burger joint or brand would pay for this to happen on their vlog? Like, is this how you want to present it to me in a bowl with yeah. a rat? Okay. I I'm made just... it. What brand deal are you expecting? You not, think I'm going to sell burgers? I'm not asking that. I'm just, just saying. Enjoy your, enjoy your gift. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? It's a f***ing burger. Take a bite. <laughs> and you want me to, like, actually night shift review it? Yes. No. If you like it, tell us. If you don't like it, Tell us. Okay, so we've got it's uh, tell clearly us the a, phone it's company. It's clearly a potato roll. It's got 
what looks like, is that two patties or just one patty? Two patties. Two. It's got two, like, six of a pound, eighth of a pound patties. I'm more of a big Now, remember, patty. cooking this burger is Janko's idea of the perfect ad. And the toaster oven company is going to carry him out on their shoulders like Teen Wolf after this. And he's going to be granted the riches and become influencer of the year, right? Now, meanwhile, his ad is backfired, and here's Big Mike saying that his burger looks microwaved. Let's enjoy. Any kind of guy. It looks like uh, a thousand islands are like a secret sauce. Like what will come out of McDonald's Big Mac. It's got two slices of really thick cut cheddar, which I do like. Soft potato yes. roll, buttery soft potato roll, as I said. Wow, this is like a real review. There's not like, I'm actually kind of excited to see how you like it. There's not like, I'm not f***ing playing around here, but there's not like splooge on it or something, right? No. Okay. Here's Big Mike. Like you eat it upside down like a freak. First thing I noticed was that it was seemed to have been cooked with a nuclear microwave. It is it is cooked to a spicy, extra, extra, extra yeah, well. I don't know why you're laughing, Janko, because you just took $2,000 from that company claiming it makes the best food. So you're now scamming the company? Ha, ha, ha. Isn't it funny? The thing that I bought and told you to buy it on work. And in him... I mean, really, this is bad all around. <laughs> well done. It has reached, a, it has reached what Wait, I would You could... said you eat yours well done. No, no, I'm a medium rare kind of oh, guy. Oh, see, okay, duly noted. It's, it's, re it's reached what I would consider a grayscale. It's not even meat anymore. It's like a piece, it's like a pillow. It's like a, wow. a hard pillow. So not a pillow. You're literally the exact opposite of a pillow. No, it's a rock filled pillow. Okay, how's the taste? The thick cheddar was a great choice. It plays no, it was soft. not. Is it really overcooked? No one just... does two slices of thick cheddar. You know why? It's not good on a burger. I don't really like any thick slice of cheese. No, why would you want to cover up the taste of a delicious burger with giant thick slices? I mean, really, it looks like you took a Kraft cheddar block and cut it lengthways and put it on the damn burger. Maybe squared it off a little bit. That's disgusting to me. Saying that. Guys, looks, <laughs> like, looks like it was, instead of being cooked on a grill, it was put through a black hole. Wow. You know, if we didn't read the book, we wouldn't have overcooked yeah, it. Thank you. Because we try to do the time that they said it. But oh, you know what? The throwing the company under the bus for the ad. It. Makes like I said, sense. It's not a bad burger. It's delivered by friends of mine that I that I know and love. There was a lot of love put into it. It's okay. for my birthday. All right, so I think that's it for this one. You should hear right? him rate it like Dave Oh, Portnoy. he's going to rate it like Dave Portney. We must make Dave aware of this. Can anyone help us with this? I'm gonna give it a three two. I'm gonna give it. A, I'm gonna give it a three point two. Out of five? Uh, it's out of ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> you do. Oh. Okay. Follow him on Instagram, please. <laughs> and the company, do they get their money back, or do they just have to sit there and go, "Oh, well, I hope people are too stupid."